Hello there! Today we are looking at the pocket camera from 1979, the Yashica MF1, which is uh, not to be confused with the new Yashica MF1. For some reason, a few years ago, they released a new version of not of this camera, but a camera of the same name. And it's a very basic camera, I haven't really heard anything good about it, so yeah, not to be confused with this one. This is a much older camera and supposedly also better. So basically, this is a auto exposure camera, but with manual focus, so and it has no rangefinder. So yeah, but anyway, let's have a close look at the camera and what you can do with it. The first thing you should do before you start taking pictures is to insert the batteries. It takes two AA batteries and it won't take any pictures without them because the light meter here on front needs them and also, of course, then the flash, if you want to use the flash, needs batteries. So first of all, to give an overview of the camera, it has a 38 millimeter 2.8 lens, which sounds quite good on paper. And it seems like Yashica has made it themselves since it's called Yashica lens, but I don't know. But what the origin of the lens is. The only exposure setting you can shoot yourself is the ISO which is here and controlled by this wheel here and it goes from 500 as the highest to 25 as the lowest. So it's not very, it doesn't give much opportunity to push the film. For focusing you have four different settings here on top. One is like close up for a person, a little bit further from one person, two people, and then mountain, which is like infinity focus, I guess. Of course, there's also here on the bottom the same, the same, but in meters and feet. So I prefer to use this since it can be a bit abstract, but <laughs> how close that actually is. And after all, it has a 2.8 lens. So if you're close to a person, I mean, the focus needs to be a little bit exact. Otherwise you have everything blurry. On the side here, you also have a self timer, which could come in handy if you want to take a picture of yourself. On the front here, you have a pop-up flash, which can be useful if you're in a dark area. Since it's an uh, auto exposure camera in a way, sometimes it actually refuses to take picture if the flash is not activated, if it thinks it's dark enough. So yeah, it has quite a standard lever for film advance and the same for, for reversing the, the film into the canister. So nothing, nothing strange in that case. Quite a standard 35 millimeter pocket camera, nothing, nothing strange about it. And here on the inside you have the well standard innards of a 35 millimeter camera really. Yeah, that was all about the Yashica MF1. Maybe I forgot something, but yeah, it's not <laughs> a very big thing in that case. Let's hope. So let's have a look at the photos. I've taken one roll with this camera and I used uh, Tri-X400 in Rodinal 1 plus 25. Maybe not the best combination if you want to have very low grain and higher resolution, but it's okay and I use the same combination for the Smena symbol, so I can compare with that camera how the photos look. Right, so what is my verdict of this camera? Would I recommend it? Well, yeah, it takes okay photos. It does the job. It takes photos if you <laughs> focus it correctly. I didn't have any problems focusing the photos. No, none were out of focus. So yeah, it's not that big of a problem. If you happen to see this camera somewhere, I don't know, it's, if you can get it for cheap, well, get it and try a roll. I don't know, maybe you will like it more than I do. And of course, if you use different film, like color film or more high resolution, the photos will also look different. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this camera or any other camera, <laughs> just write a comment and remember to like the video. Yay! Always makes me happy when I see the likes. Or if you don't like it, also dislike it. I mean, the big secret on YouTube is that the, it doesn't differ between likes and dislikes. Anything counts as activity and promotes the video, so... I heard the other way. No, it's like that. Really? Yep. I heard that if there's this like it won't show no. to people. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well anyway, I think that's all for this video. See you in the, my next one. Maybe that will also be a better camera. You never know with this channel what will come next. Bye. Bye.